Hi, I'm Rob Frenette, and I'd like to welcome you to the first video in my AWS Hands-On Playlist, where I'll walk you through hosting a static website in S3, fronted by a CloudFront distribution with an Origin Access Identity and SSL certificate, accessed via a custom Route 53 domain. I've already purchased the domain I'll be using in this video in Route 53, but I'll walk you through the process of registering your own domain. To get started, I've logged into the AWS console and navigated to the Route 53 service. I'll click the Get Started button, select Register a Domain, and then click Get Started again. Because I've already registered CumulusCycling.com, I'll use CumulusCycling.net in the demo and click the Check button to see if the domain is available. It is, so I'll click Add to Cart, then Continue, and complete the form, making sure to check Enable for privacy protection. Then click Continue. Then I'll check to agree to the terms and conditions, and at this point I would typically click the Complete Order button. However, since I already have a domain name, I'll cancel from this screen. The next step is going to be to head over to S3 to create the bucket. So I'll click the Create Bucket button to get started, and enter a name for the bucket. Then I'll scroll down to the Block Public Access Settings section, and uncheck Block All Public Access, and Acknowledge. Then scroll to the bottom, and click Create Bucket. Now I'll click the bucket name and upload files for the website. With the files uploaded, I'll now click the Properties tab on the bucket and scroll down to Static Website Hosting. Click Edit, Enable, and enter file names for the index and error documents. Then Save Changes. Now if I scroll to the bottom of this page, and click the link to the static web hosting endpoint, we'll see I get a 403 forbidden error. So let's jump back over to S3, click the permissions tab on the bucket, and edit the bucket policy. I'll add a policy statement, which allows everyone S3 get object access on the Cumulus Cycling website bucket and all objects contained therein. I'll save changes, then head back over to the web page and refresh. And now we see I'm able to access the site from the S3 bucket. And if I try and access a page that doesn't exist, like test HTML, I'm redirected to the error page. Now that the website is publicly accessible, I want to put a CloudFront distribution in front of it so it's accessible via CloudFront and not directly from the S3 bucket. But before I do that, I'll jump over to AWS Certificate Manager and create an SSL certificate to secure the site. I'll start by clicking the Request a Certificate button I'll request a public certificate, then enter my domain names. I'll validate via DNS and add a tag, then click Request and view the certificate. From here, I'll click to create the records in Route 53 and then Create Records. And if I jump back into my hosted zone on Route 53, we'll see the CNAME created for the certificate. With the certificate created, I'll now jump back over to CloudFront and create a distribution. For the origin, I'll select the S3 bucket, and then select Yes to create an OAI. I'll also check Yes to update the bucket policy, and then create a new OAI. I'll scroll down and select to redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, add alternate domains, then choose my custom SSL certificate, and finally create the distribution. This step can take a while to complete, but you'll know it's done when you see a timestamp in the last modified section. With the distribution deployed, I can now copy the distribution domain name, jump over to a new tab in the browser, and it looks like there's an issue. So let's jump back over to CloudFront and take a look. So I'll go into my origin and edit, and it looks like I did not select yes to update the bucket policy. So I'll do that now, save changes, and wait for the distribution to be redeployed. With the distribution redeployed, we can go back to the page and reload it and see our site is served from our CloudFront distribution. Now, this is great, but I can also still access the page directly from S3. If I go back to the tab and reload it, we still see the content. And since I only want the content accessible from CloudFront, I'll jump back over to S3, click on the bucket, go to permissions, and re-enable block public access. Confirm, 
go back to the tab and reload, now we get a 403. But if we go to the CloudFront tab, I can still access the site. Now, the last step in the process is to establish the connection between my custom domain in Route 53 and the CloudFront distribution. So to do that, I'll jump back into CloudFront and copy the distribution domain name, then head over to Route 53. And in my hosted zone, I'll create a new record. I'll create an alias to a CloudFront distribution and then select the distribution and create the record. And I'll create one more record, which will be a C name, which will route www.cumuluscycling.com to cumuluscycling.com and create the record. And now I can access the site using my custom domain name. So that concludes this AWS hands-on demo, which shows how to host a static website using S3, CloudFront, Certificate Manager, and Route 53. I hope you found this useful.